hi everyone so welcome to another video this is basically the power sequence for another hp compact cq 515 520 and other similar laptop this video will be a very quick video and of course you will understand fastly and quickly how power works within a laptop motherboard okay so let's get started so here we have adapter or charger okay and this is the charge ic or the control ic that manage the charge for the battery and also the input voltage okay so this is basically the direction of the power here we mean the main power 19 volts so this main power basically the 19 volt as you can see here will be applied to all circuits or to all controllers in the motherboard this is the first controller as you can see here we have 19 volt is applied here we have the second control this is the third control and the fourth control so this control basically has the purpose of generating these voltages okay the always voltages means the three volt always and five volt always so these two voltages are always present in the motherboard even if you didn't power on your laptop okay so based of course in this voltages we we will get of course other voltages for other stages in the motherboard okay so this ic basically has the purpose of generating other voltages for chipsets do you see here we have the north bridge we have v vcc for north bridge and of course ic head okay so the reference of course for this ic as you can see is tps 51 120 this is the responsible for generating chipset power we have here as you can see plus 0.9 volt this voltage it also will feed and power the ram vtt why because we have the ddr2 the the kind of ram here is ddr2 as you can see we have the main voltage 1.8 volts okay so the vtt voltage will be 0.9 volt i will show you all this so this ic basically will have the ddr2 power the reference is tp is 170 so after receiving as you can see here do you see here we have basically this is the 19 volt as you can see the 19 volt is applied to here and then also this enable signals including including the power good and the slip s5 state so the ram will generate of course 1.8 volts as a main voltage okay then we have the cc core basically this is the max as you can see 17009 this ic has the purpose of generating the necessary voltage for the processor we have plus vcc core and plus vcc core vdt so basically two voltages of course here after receiving as you can see here do you see we have here always the main voltage here as you can see apply to this ic besides of as you can see here this enable signals this enable signals we have the power good the north bridge skip the north bridge v buff and the system power good. okay so this is a quick power sequence of course here what i want to share with you some tips is that always when you want to troubleshoot a failure if you have a failure you have two choices for example let's assume that you didn't get the vcc core so you will go basically in this direction here so you didn't have this power you should check this ic 
okay after that you should take as you can see the 90 volt here we have the path okay after that you will go and check as you can see the charge ic and after that of course the adapter do you see the path always we have the path here okay because if for example this ic didn't generate the vcc core you should check the ic uh, state and also the it's is it the, is the ic receive all signals or we call this input signals including the power and the enable signals if for example it doesn't receive any signal here for example the power signal you should go and check this path is it good or not also charge ic is the charge ic send uh, basically the control signal for the switch or not and then check the adapter let's assume for example that we didn't get for example this power over here 2.5 volt here we should go in this of course direction so we should check of course this control then go and check this control do you see then go and check this ic then we should check of course the adapter etc always this is uh, how we troubleshoot this kind of failure the same for example here we didn't get this voltage we should go of course in this direction as you can see you see check this ic then so here we have this ic we should check it then the 19 volt and then go and check the adapter and so on. this is how we troubleshoot fail this is some tips that you can use of course to troubleshoot fail always take it easy when troubleshooting fails it's easy if you understand just the power sequence you you can't troubleshoot any failure okay so here for example we have another uh, basically power circuit for another hp laptop this is uh, the HP 6220, 6050, and other similar laptops. For example, here we have a problem. Let's assume that we have problem with this voltage, and also, for example, we have problem with this voltage for the RAM 0.9 volt and with the VCC core. So, always try to use the path. This is so. Let me remove this. So always, as you can see here, two adapters. Do you see? Between the voltage, two adapters. Here, between the voltage, as you can see, two adapters. Here also, between the voltage, two adapters. This is the circuit of troubleshooting. Do you see? For example, we have here problem with the VCC core. We should check the IC. You see here. If the IC is good, we should then go and check the 19 volt this is basically the line as you can see here the line that hold 19 volt as you can see here from the adapter we have 19 volt goes to this big line as you can see okay so check the ic then this line then if we have problem here we always you should refer to this around check then the charge as you can see here the charge circuit this is the charge circuit is the charge circuit generate the right uh, control signal for this, this switch or not then you can go and check of course this switch and then the adapter okay do you see this also if you didn't have the 0.9 volt then go check this because this is the ic that is responsible for generating 0.9 volt but if this ic doesn't receive 1.8 volt from this ic it will not generate this voltage so go also and check this ic and then go and check this uh, compound over here and if this compound also uh, this component basically has the purpose of generating to do enable signals okay and then check of course the line this is the line for 19 volt 
and then go on with and check the charge IC and then the adapter DC. The same here, if you didn't get plus 5 volt, means we have problem here. It could, it's going to be here, okay, or here, because this one generate 5 volt, but this one basically should receive plus 5 volt A from this IC, and this IC should receive also, as you can see, 19 volt, and 19 volt should pass through this resistor, through the MOSFET, through the adapter, do you see? So this is how you can troubleshoot using the power sequence. So the power sequence is not here just, just to pass through it and to watch it, but the power sequence is here to use it for troubleshooting purposes.